Kids ask me how to become great. I tell them, practice means better, better means great, and great equals success. I hate practice, but I love to win. In today's matchup, the Chicago Bears are taking on Seattle Seahawks at home. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy TDK, and I'm bike with the regular online match. You know what I'm saying? As you see it, got the cool little colors and shit like that. Um, what is it? Got the cool little um, black and white mixed with the color and shit like that. I think it's called um, Sin, Sin City Color or some shit like that. I forgot what it was called. But, um, man, this thing is defense was something else. Before I get into the little situation I want to talk about, watch this nigga's defense, bro. This nigga's defense was fucking nuts. Like he was he was having um his whole like his whole defense was like fucking dumbass smart and shit. Like the awareness on his defense was fucking crazy. Like but you you'll see it the more um the more the game goes along. But fuck all that fuck shit, bro. I was just literally nigga just lo low key woke up um first and foremost Happy President's Day to everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you're enjoying your Monday. Tanoki, you're funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all enjoying your Monday. You know what I'm saying? Be safe. Don't be doing that dumb shit. So I just woke up. Young dude just got on World Star. You know I got to check on my World Star to see what's up. So I'm checking out this Lil Wayne video, right? If you ain't see it, check it out. Why is this fuck nigga out of control as usual? This nigga is on, on stage talking about fuck NBA, fuck Miami Heat. So he got banned from all Miami Heat games because he was on some dumb shit talking about he smashed Chris Bosh's wife, which I doubt. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talk shit all day. Y'all know how this shit is. It's just like being in a barbershop. Niggas talk shit all day. Not what you know. It's what you can prove. Fuck, nigga. And styling your fuck ass cam, boy. Fuck out of here, man. It's some new shit young nigga just came up with just to be funny. You know what I'm saying? Just to... Um, just to just to do something different. Like when I styled on this nigga, he was so mad. You should have I, I should have left the um the audio up when when um when he was mad as shit. This nigga was mad as shit, son. You could tell he's not used to getting uh that he's not used to getting uh scored on. You could tell his defense really does numbers and shit like that, but not against me. I'm gonna fuck who you are. In this game, I was dropping so many interceptions out of control. But anyways, so he talking about fuck LeBron, fuck She Wade, aka you know Dwayne Wade. He called him She Wade, and then fuck Chris Bosh. And he's like, fuck the NBA, fuck all this, that, and the third. What the fuck is this nigga doing? Like, why the fuck is this nigga bad and shit? Like, it, it it's fucking random. You know what I'm saying? Random as fuck. Out of nowhere, he just get banned, and he talking about fuck this, that, and the third. Like, why why is you mad, man? He's like. What the fuck is you doing? Like, this nigga Lil Wayne, man, he is one comfortable-ass nigga, man. That nigga's way too fucking comfortable for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I can, me personally, I can never be comfortable being around that nigga. That nigga attracts way too much attention for me. Nigga, stay on the radar off some dumb shit. And this nigga, like, he's just too comfortable for me. I don't need, I don't want comfortable niggas around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to, you know, have a little laxidate and all that. You know what I'm saying? Be a little lax. But that nigga way too comfortable for me. Especially after some shit, after some shit like that. And my nigga Sidney Rice, good looking on that catch. But after some shit like that, like, you just saying, and how the fuck I throw an interception. My nigga Dion Branch should be able to, not Branch, Butler should have been able to fucking get that shit like it was nothing. But anyways, like, this nigga... I would have stayed, like, just like I said about that nigga Wells Walker's bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, you only say shit like that or you only do shit like that because you're comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Like, sooner or later, like, this nigga don't understand. The streets is going to catch up with that nigga. They always do, you know what I'm saying? If you fuck with it long enough, you do something long enough, and you stay on the radar and, and you promote whatever it is that you're trying to do, it will catch up with you. You do it long enough, you will get caught, just like, and... Uses on deck. I do this defense shit for real, home back. EA Sports owe me a hundred favors. Fuck what you fuck niggas heard. EA Sports don't fuck with no you fuck niggas because if they did, the game wouldn't be all fucked up. It ain't that bad a bitch. My nigga Dion Butler can't fucking make the catch because they laid his ass out and shit. But this nigga, man, I, I, I can't. I, I I respect his music and I respect his, his grinding, this, that, and the third. But I couldn't fuck with that nigga like that. You know what I'm saying? He's not. He's not some. I, he's the type of nigga I would not want to be around. Period. He's way too comfortable. Talk way too much shit. You know what I'm saying? For, for a nigga that talk all that shit, he got a whole lot of fucking security around him. 
know what I'm saying? Like my nigga Meek Mill said, gangsters move with silence. And I don't talk a lot. Like that nigga talk a lot. That nigga talk so fucking much shit. It's unbelievable. And he got a fuck ton of goddamn security around that nigga. That nigga got so much fucking security it's out of control. Shit don't make no sense. And, and then like he said, I'm a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? Take it to the streets. What the fuck are you talking about? Who the fuck is this nigga Lil Wayne ever beat up? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was dying at them. I'm like, what are you talking about, nigga? Who are you ever beat up? Like, this, when this nigga, this nigga came to the city. Nigga came to L.A., him and Birdman. Because they supposedly supposed to be bloods. Supposedly. These niggas used to wear every color bandana there ever was in the world. Even blue. And all of a sudden, they figured, oh, you know, I look better in the red bandana so I'm a blood all of a sudden niggas came to the city you know what I'm saying if you ain't seen the video watch the video this nigga was hollering the whole blood thing or whatnot, and, and you know what I'm saying and he was saying if you ain't with bloods you in a food chain so you know what I'm saying niggas in the city asked that nigga about that you know what I'm saying the nigga had jack shit to say this nigga was quiet in a bit quiet than a mouse my nigga this nigga was dumb ass quiet didn't get out the car none of that shit like I, I never I never seen no shit like that you know what I'm saying? I know niggas who do that shit for real. You know what I'm saying? And if a nigga ever stunned on them niggas or ever flexed on them niggas, them niggas would have got out the car and handled their business. But not these niggas. These niggas, they stayed in the car. They had jack shit to say. Them niggas was quieter than a motherfucker. Like, I don't understand this nigga. This nigga's in a position to, uh, like, to, in my personal opinion, this nigga, Lil Wayne got, got the black community looking bad. Like, this nigga's just, just a fucking awful straight up, my nigga. Like, this nigga... Is in a position to not only put um, the black community in a good position, but all everybody, you know what I'm saying? No matter what color you are, this nigga in a good position to do things, you know what I'm saying? Take guns out the hood, you know what I'm saying? Help niggas stay in school and shit like that. And this fuck nigga just helping put guns back in the hood, like on some dumb shit. And he don't even do that shit for real, my nigga. Like, who the fuck certified this nigga, my nigga? Like, he don't do that shit for real. This nigga talk all that shit and got all the security around him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having security around you or anything like that. But, my nigga, like, if you talking like like you about that life and shit like that, but yet you got dumb ass security around you and you ain't never whooped that, uh, uh, you ain't never whooped nobody's ass a day of your life, bro. It makes no fucking sense. Like, you're contradicting yourself. You look stupid, my nigga. That's just real rap. That's just my personal opinion. That that he sounds to me just sounds like a crybaby that just got kicked out of the fucking NBA. He, he's just spending not just kicked out the NBA. He's um banned from all Miami Heat games and whatnot for whatever reason. <sighs> Excuse me, I don't know why the fuck I throw that shit to my tight end. He was wide open, but I don't know. That shit was stupid as fuck. This nigga little way like this nigga is one confused ass nigga, man. That nigga's different. And I said this nigga. Has all, he's in a position to do a, do a lot of good. But all that money he's getting, he don't do nothing but stupid shit. Nothing but stupid shit. In my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Some, nigga, some niggas that follow that nigga, like literally, you know what I'm saying? They, they got his dick all in his mouth and everything. This nigga do, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just great. You know what I'm saying? Great things to slice of bread. You know what I'm saying? Real rap. Like this nigga can't do no wrong to some niggas. But for me, fuck out of here, nigga. Lil Wayne couldn't tell me shit. Couldn't tell me a damn thing, bruh. Fuck out of here, man. Like, your music is cool, but it, it stops there. That's all it is. That's really all it is. It's just your music. Other than that, like, what else more can you offer me? This nigga can't offer me shit. And this nigga try to go for a fake on some dumb shit. And this shit didn't work out, dumb ass. Like, this nigga, this nigga I play right here, this nigga was fucking whack. Garbage ass nigga, bro. I don't fuck with this fuck ass nigga, bro. Like, shit was weak as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take nothing away from this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I blame myself completely. I never take anything away from nobody. You know what I'm saying? Real rap. I just don't do that. I don't, I don't think that's right. Regardless of how you may play, if I don't like it or somebody else don't like it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take nothing away from you. You know what I'm saying? You got yours how you got it. You know what I'm saying? But this nigga was whack. Like, this nigga really thought he was fucking nice and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to take nothing away from him. He got his W fair and square. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, you win something, you lose something, you know what I'm saying? All I can do is just learn from this, uh, learn from it. And so I, I was thinking, okay, let me see what his record is looking like. And this nigga is a straight fucking bum, my nigga. 
I think shit. How many games this thing? I think he played over seven hundred games, right? No, because that. I think me and Tuggle, we look. Well, I'm about to show right here. This thing, I think he played over like seven hundred games, bro. Shit didn't make no fucking sense. Like, look at that shit. How the fuck you play over seven seven hundred games? Seven hundred two games to be exact. And you only a level eight. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. With that bullshit. That's a bullshit, EA man. It's your boy TDK. I'm out.